Good afternoon. Back to my messy desk covered in projects. Today I'm going to show you this kind of piece of crap that I have. Uh, it's just a PowerBook G4. If I can get it open. 15 inch. Uh, I think it's. I don't remember what year it is. Anyway, it's a 1.25 gigahertz, the Firewire 800 model. Uh, I got it a couple years ago off of eBay. It was complete. Uh, it said it had two gigs of RAM in it, but it was untested because it didn't have a power supply. And I just so happened to have a power supply. Had a power supply at the time already. Um, so I bought it, and what do you know, it worked just fine. And in the meantime, I mean, I just bought it as a toy, so uh, I don't really use it that often. But uh, I've went through a few different Linux distributions and I've put OS 10 on there and I've dual booted and I've never really been comfortable with any of the setups uh, until I tried to pull it out the other day the other day today today actually yeah and uh, put Lubuntu on it with an L um, which uses LXDE uh, it's supposed to be super fast and what do you know it is um, this has yeah two gigs of RAM in it. Uh, it's one of the few G4 PowerBook aluminum models that have both RAM slots working, which is pretty awesome. Um, anyway, oh, and I also put a uh, I put an SSD in it. Um, and you might say like, oh, how you how the hell did you put an SSD in a uh, an old power book which uses an IDE interface. Let me see if I can find my other one. Um, and I just got this little adapter thing. I'll show you what it looks like. You can get these little adapters off eBay for like four or five bucks or something stupid like that. And this one is a SATA version, um, but they just have a little, uh, what is that? Mini PCI Express or whatever the hell that is. Uh, mini SATA that thing <laughs> so you can put a, a short or a longer uh, SSD in there the ones that usually come in like netbooks you know um, so I have another one of these in there that's uh, IDE interface regular laptop IDE and it's got a short little 24 gig SSD which I think I it was like 10 bucks or 15 bucks on eBay um, I bought this also, just because I was going to do it for another project and test some things out, but I never ended up using this, so it just kind of sits around. Anyway, so I got that in there, and surprisingly, you'd think, you know, oh, well, you're still, you've still got an IDE interface. It's going to be slow as hell no matter what. Um, well, it's a hell of a lot faster than the original 80 gig drive that was in it. Um, and with Lubuntu, it boots extremely fast. Which I was kind of surprised. Let's watch. Takes a while to, you know, get to the bootloader, but that's just... That's just how it is with an old power bug. Any second now. Okay. Bootloader. It'll automatically go, but I'll speed it up. Something just failed. I don't know what that was. Anyway, there we are. So fast. Um, and I got right click, bound to control click, and a couple other things that I'll show you. Um, I think if you install Ubuntu, regular Ubuntu, on a PowerBook, I think the wireless works automatically, at least for this specific 15 inch. PowerBook, uh, but Lubuntu didn't have that working correctly, so you had to install the Broadcom 4300 or whatever firmware, um, which you just do a sudo apt-get install, what is it, firmware-b43-install or something like that. It installs the firmware and then you reboot and your wireless works fine.
Um, and then to get the control click working, you have to... I'll open it here in just a second. You have to install Mouse Emu, Mouse Emulator. Uh, just sudo app get install Mouse Emu, or however the hell you want to do it. If you want to go to the package manager thing that comes with it, uh, you can do it that way too. Um, and we're going to open this default slash Mouse Emu uh, configuration file. Since Lubuntu comes with LeafPad, it's LeafPad. And what do you know? It's not there. Hold on. And what do you know? I misspelled it. <laughs> Mouse emu. Anyway. And then in your configuration file, you basically just have to remove the comment out on right click. Right there. Left click. Left control plus click. Uh, save it. And restart. And then you get control click to work. Um, and by default, if for some reason that shit doesn't work, um, F12? Nope. I guess it de uh, gets rid of it. Once you do that, it doesn't work this way, but before that, uh, F12 was right click. F11 is middle click, I believe. Uh, but since I turned it on to do that, now my F12 is not right click, which is fine, because I wouldn't use that anyway. Um, I still don't have any two-finger scrolling or anything. I don't have any scrolling. Um, and I've gotten used to just using paid the up and down arrows to scroll when I'm using the web browser and then if you hold control you can do pages or maybe fun you hold function and then page up page down instead of just bit by bit Firefox loads not super quick um, but quick enough Let's see what I was doing there I don't even know how YouTube's gonna work right now We'll try it. It's probably not going to load very much because probably wants some plugins and crap like that, whatever. Anyway, it's pretty fast for what it is. Um, and a lot of things work out of the box. Like I said, just had to do the wireless and I had to get my right click. And I think that's about it for now. So yeah, all I have to do now is just customize all my stuff, get a different wallpaper on there, and blah, 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 blah. Install whatever stupid programs I think I need. Um, yeah, so using Lubuntu is a little bit different than Ubuntu. Um, just a few different things to get used to, uh, especially when all the tutorials for power books like this are for Ubuntu and pretty much everything carries over but you just have to think about it a little bit more um, since you're not using the same window manager but yep hope you enjoy my power book I, I guess I kinda do thanks for watching